Hi y'all, it's Crazy G, and I am here today with a makeup haul. Um, I have skincare too, but I'm going to do that in a second video, just because it will be here forever. I got a lot of stuff. So yeah, I want to talk about some of the things I've been buying, some of the things I've been picking up for you guys. When I hit 100 subscribers, I've been saying I want to have a giveaway. I really do. I really want to give back. So yeah, let me get into some of the stuff that I have been buying. Some of it I use, some of it not yet. But let's get through my Holy Grail primer. Every time I go on a shopping binge, I have to put the Hourglass Mineral Veil in there. Every time I use this, it locks my makeup in, into place. My make my foundation does not break down. You know, sometimes I just have really long shifts. I work 12-hour shifts, so that means I'm pretty much up for 16 hours. I got to get ready. Everything has to last, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, sometimes I have to do things after work. So I want my makeup to stay as fresh as I can, considering the long hours that I work. And when I need that, this is the primer I go for. This doesn't fail me. So every time, I can't bring myself to buy just the big size because that's like just one thing. I hate going, like ordering something or buying one thing at the store. Like it pains me for whatever reason. I don't understand and I'm a little weird like that. I don't know. But yeah, I, I just can't buy one thing so I stock up on the little ones I have like five of them so whatever <clears throat> I did go ahead and pick up the subculture palette got one for you guys too 100 subscribers come on spread the word I I'm so ready I have been having a blast picking up stuff I I just I like doing this kind of stuff I'm that kind of a person but like I said in my review, I like this. Um, I haven't had any problems. I did my eyes with it today. I've been using it since I did my review. I uh, Let me show you what it looks like. That's what my palette looks like. I don't... I mean, I don't... Is it? Is it the easiest palette to work with? No. Is it impossible? No. Um... This palette isn't for everybody, but it isn't for makeup artists either. It's for anybody who wants to take their time, blend in a little bit more. I I really like Anastasia's um, products. I, I haven't had any terrible issues with things. I think their marketing was a little off. It's maybe not the sister to the modern renaissance, but it's not an awful palette. I haven't had any of the problems that I've been hearing about, so... I like it. I've been enjoying it. Um, is it my favorite in the whole world? No, but it, it's certainly not the worst, and it's something I enjoy, and I like the colors. I, I like what, how they, the looks that I've been getting from them, so I'm, I'm happy with it. With that being said, I'm happy with it. I also, you know, stopped by ColourPop online, and I got the Gimme More Highlighting Palette. This is a good palette. I was kind of shocked when I got this. And that's what it looks like. I love that color. That's what I got going on here. You see that? You see that? I've, I've been using this for like two weeks now. And I might have picked one up for you guys. <laughs> but I can go in with any of these colors. Even this dark shade. If I mix it in with this shade or this shade, I can use it. And it's like a, a gold-like. Like these colors can be manipulated any way you see fit. They're not glittery, they're not chunky, they're smooth on the skin, they don't look patchy. I like to use um, the e.l.f. tapered blending brush. I like to buff it into my skin. That's the way I use all my highlighters. I really like these and they're, they're pressed medium, I would say. Not powdery, they don't have any kick up, but they're not super hard where you can't get it on a brush either. So they're like just right. Like ColourPop did a good job with this. I was kind of like, wow, ColourPop. And I mean, it was 16 bucks. 16 bucks. I don't know if it's a dupe for the Nicole Guerrero. It's close. It's close. It doesn't have glitter in it. I kind of like this more than that one. So if that says anything. I also picked up an Ultra Satin from them in this color Panda. I have probably every Ultra Satin that's 
on their site. I swear I do. I have a pile. Like, I'm looking at this stuff. Believe me, behind this camera is a hot mess. Like, I got a mess. And maybe one of these times I, like, I gotta get my crap together. For real. For real. Like, if I can get my stuff to look presentable, because really, I do not want to show the world this collection. And my problem is storage. Like, I just don't have a place to put, and I'm looking all around me. It's everywhere. Like, I'm drowning in it. And nothing anybody has given to me. I paid for everything that I have with my own hard worked money, you know? Like, I, I just, I don't get stuff, so. I mean, I'm just a... 100% makeup lover. I love my stuff, but I do work a lot and I'm not home a lot and I do work nights So I don't have time to actually Clean up or find where I can put stuff like I don't even have shelves like Yeah, that's a whole nother story, but hey, I'll go through my collection. Maybe that'll get me motivated to actually Work on this and get this to where I want it because it's not where I want it to be It's like halfway, but not where I want it to be I also picked up um, two of the Anastasia matte lipsticks, the new ones. The red is, this is Ruby's, what I got on today. I wore this all night last night. It's a bullet style matte lipstick. I do like them. I ate with this on. This has been on since 5.30 last night and it's almost 9 a.m. now. That's a long time for a red lipstick. And I was a little bit, because, you know, I didn't know the formula. I just got them yesterday. And I was like, all right, I'm going to wear this to work. I really wanted a nice classic red. Um, but I also brought another lipstick with me just in case, you know, this feathered or anything. No, it didn't. It didn't move. It stayed on all night. It's it's creamy. It does, after about an hour or two, maybe, it, it starts to dry down. But it's not like a liquid lipstick. Like, it's not flaky. It's not, you know, coming off in weird patches. Nothing like that. It's just really nice. It's really nice. I got, this is Stevie, and this is Ruby. I want more of these. I want them all. I even want the black one. Because I've been wanting a real good black but comfortable lipstick. And I didn't want to get it in a liquid lipstick. So I think that's the formula I want to get it in. Now this is the number 7 Airbrush Away Radiance Boosting Primer. I've been trying stuff from number 7. I've been liking a lot of their, I've liked some of their skincare. I like um, some of their makeup. I got a bronzer from them. I'm really like, they're pretty good. And I, I figured, I've been hearing everybody talk about the regular airbrush away, but I was like, I want to try the Radiance one because I'm, I'm a dry girl. I need all the Radiance I can get. This is neat. This is so different. It's very thin, but when you put it on, it's, that's what it looks like right now out of the tube. When you rub it in your skin, it's like a pink duochromed tint on your skin. I don't know if you're able to really see this. Can you see? I don't know. There we go. You can see it right there. Almost like the um, Moonchild Glow Kit, the Pink Hearts color highlighter, but I mean this is not a highlighter. This melts into your skin. It really holds your makeup on and you look glowy. I've been using this for the last week and a half. And it is keeping my makeup on, which I was surprised because normally glowy primers don't keep your makeup on. So I was like, huh, it's nice. I like it. It's nice. Um, Y'all know this was in my favorite. It's a Too Faced Born This Way powder. I actually like this. My holy grail is the Cover FX um, Perfect Setting Powder. That's my holy grail. That's the one that I wear when I want no fail makeup. I want budge proof. I know I got a long night day ahead of me and I just can't afford for it to break down on me. That's my holy grail. I haven't found anything to top that yet. But this is a close second. And this one I can put under my eyes, you know, and it's still okay. It doesn't do funky things. This is supposed to be a glowy powder. I don't find it glowy. I find it um, soft focused, I would say soft focused, but this is a really nice powder. I also picked up this powder, the Fit Me Loose Powder. 
I've had the foundation before. It was okay. It wasn't the best. I, I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. Um, and I didn't reach for it enough either. But I wanted to try this, and I like it. Um, it it has it's it adds a little bit of coverage, not a ton where you're going to be cake face. I w I'm always nervous because I'm dry and powders and me, we have issues sometimes. I didn't have any issues with this. It didn't cake up. It looked real nice on the skin. I wouldn't say this is a super long wearing powder. I'm going to give this about a nine hour pow powder. Nine hour power. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's long wearing, but it's a good powder. So if you're just going to work for eight hours, this will work for you. So not a problem with it at all that's fine by me um i didn't buy that what's that doing in there that was last time um most times i don't um i just like when i'm getting ready for work i'll just put a brow gel through my brows and call it a day because i ain't got time to be fussing with brows i also believe that brow products and eyeliners i'm not spending a million dollars on because i spend money on a lot of other things you gotta give me something like I gotta meet in the middle somewhere and brows and eyeliners are not something that I'm willing to spend top dollar for I usually I, I had the gimme brow from Benefit and I liked it there's nothing wrong with it um, I used it up took forever that thing lasted forever and then I switched to the Ulta brand brand brow tint god all these bees I'm tired like almost delusional I can't be saying all these bees. Come on and look at this. Make a brow. Make me brow. Make build a brow. I don't know. So I I used the Ulta. It's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I figured I'd give Essence a try. Make me brow. Three bucks. So it's cheaper than the Ulta brand. It does the same thing. It's the same color. It does the same thing for my brows. And the only difference is is the applicator. The brush is a little bit bigger, but not like that. I can't control it. So. I didn't mind it. It's fine. There, it's, there's nothing wrong with it. So if you're looking for a cheap brow gel, that's decent. You know what I mean? Something I did not like that I purchased is the Maybelline Superstay um, liquid lipsticks. I don't know what people are talking about. You know, like, I like things that nobody else likes, and then I don't like things that everybody else likes. So I don't know, like, I'm reversed, reversed somewhere in my head. But if you look at this... It's like goopy. It like, it's sticky. It's tacky. It does make the weird mark, butthole lips. Is that what they call them? The weird mark in your lips. Um, by the end of my 12 hour shift, it looked a hot mess. It was crumbly, but still tacky. Like, and it stayed like that the whole time. Beautiful color. This is Lover. A beautiful color but I won't repurchase any of these I'm glad I only bought one I'm a little mad that I bought one because I hate when products don't work out um, I bought the L'Oreal Pro Glow concealer this is a nice formula and it looks beautiful under the eyes it is a little radiant I wouldn't say it's super glowy but it's radiant and I heard that this is like comparable to the naked skin concealer which is the one I like to use it's just not light enough. This is Classic Ivory. I think this is the lightest one. It says 01, so I'm assuming that's the lightest one. It's just, just, it's darker than my skin tone, so, like, I can't even use it just for a regular skin tone one. But I, I like the formula, so if you're darker than me, this might work for you, but it didn't work for me because of the shade. Unfortunately, I hate when that happens, because I was looking, I was hoping I can get the decent price concealer. No, not me. Not me. Tight line uh, mascara primer from It Cosmetics. This is my holy grail. I've purchased this a hundred times already, it feels like. And then I got some liners from ColourPop. I got Crybaby. Crybaby is a lavender purple. It really brightens up the inner rim. Um, this is a repurchase. I personally love ColourPop liners. They are the only liners that stay in my waterline. I haven't had it. The only other liner that ever stayed in my waterline was the Rim Rimmel Scandal Eyes. But I think ColourPop's cheaper, so. I, and I got a this yellow, which is called Punch. And I wore this with a yellow eyeshadow look, like a dirty yellow, and then put the bright yellow in my inner rim. 
that looked really cute. And I got Besto. I haven't used Besto. It's like a dark purple, mauve type color. And a brow product. I normally use um, ColourPop's Dope Taupe. Um, that's my brow pencil that I always use. And I just picked up another one. I actually got another brow pencil. There it is. Sorry, sorry. All up in your face. All up in your business. The LA Girl um, Shady Liner. I figured I'd give this a try. I haven't opened it yet, so I'll let you know how that works. But yeah, I've tried like Urban Decay's Perversion, uh, Too Faced Liners, uh, Marc Jacob Liners. None of them stay in my waterline. Not, not a one. None of them. So... If ColourPop's the ones that stay in my water lines and they have some popping colors, they're the ones I'm going to buy. So I do make a couple purchases often from ColourPop. And to top it off, my black liner just died last night from ColourPop and I was so sad. Like I had it for a year or so. I guess it's time. It was almost gone anyway, but it, the, it finally fell out of the, the tube and it was on the bottom of my makeup bag and I was like... Fine. I'll have to buy another one, which means I have to go back on ColourPop, which means I'm going to buy some more stuff because I'm going to come out with just one eyeliner. Anyway, that is my makeup haul, and the next video that goes up will be my skincare haul. So I hope that you'll subscribe. I hope that you like my weird personality, and I hope that you will stick around and become part of my crazy family. We do hauls. I talk about what I like, what I don't like. I give reviews on products. You know, I, I do stuff like that. And I just want to chit-chat with people who have the same interests as me. Reach out to people and get to know people in the beauty community. That's my whole thing. So, yeah, if you want to chat with an everyday average beauty enthusiast, that would be me. That'd be me. And yeah, when I get to 100 subscribers, I am going to have a giveaway. I cannot wait to do that. I'm, like, so excited. You don't even know. And, yeah, the only thing that you can do wrong is not be yourself. So, y'all have a good day. Good day. Good day. Y'all have a good day. And you all take care. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.